Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. So huge shout out to SP Support. They told me that all I needed to do if I wanted my talent on my Master Rat. So for anyone out there, you guys probably already know. You guys are probably way ahead of this. I have just been extremely busy with life. More to come on that later. But apparently all you need to do if your Master Rat does not have any obscure talent is just move them from the Monster Vault to a habitat or from a habitat to the monster vault just move him around and he would get the obscure talent so now that my master rat has this i can equip the almighty the all-powerful unrelenting assault and i can make master rats one of the most powerful monsters in the game he's going to be a vicious attacker so by the time you guys see this video i will have already released the video going over the top 100 usage data of the corrupted season one so now that i've done that i want to use the monster. So I'm going to utilize King of Atlantis. For the amulet, I'll go with Sherazar's amulet. And so now he can stamina drain, he can recover stamina. For his skill set, this monster, look, I gave him, just to show you guys how valuable this monster is, I gave him a level 10 strength, a level 9 strength, and a speed. And look at his skill set. Let me let me describe why he's so powerful. So short and swift, one turn cooldown, removes negative effects, extra turn to itself. Super nice, super useful, can cleanse from your team, can cleanse from yourself. Snake heads, attacks multiple enemies, moderate light damage applies vulnerable. Vulnerable makes it so incoming attacks are increased by 50%, keep that in mind. Rat and snake, one enemy deals heavy light damage removes positive effects. If you fight Megatons, hey, doesn't matter. Megaton is gone, has a one turn cooldown. Vulnerable, you're good to go. If, let's say you fought like a Lindworm that went first and a Megatons and Lindworm, he does that evasion skill sometimes, you can do rat and snake, Get rid of the Megatons, you can attack another enemy monster, then Rat and Snake the enemy Lindworm. Like, this skill on a one-turn cooldown being able to cycle, especially when we have Short and Swift, you basically can do Rat and Snake and cleanse, remove positive effects every single turn, thanks to that combo right there. But also, Inseparable Trio. This applies Water, Light, and Fire Weakness. This monster happens to be Light, so you're basically giving yourself an elemental advantage. This is spammable, so even if you get hit with CDA, Trio, 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 over and over and over again. You don't need staff form, you don't need agile, you don't need any of these other skills. This skill is actually very nice because it's double damage, but it's more for an ally. If you're running this monster as an attacker, this is really the skill set to go with. Yeah, you may want to do the other, the Choigar follower, because it's a little stronger, moderate light damage, also spammable, but I think really this is the best way to go. And, I, and I'm going to demonstrate it here. So he's going to be an attacker master rat. And he is going to be vicious. So we're going to go into multiplayer. We're going to battle. Oh, look. Perfect timing. I can open up this tier 6 egg. Get my 200 face cells. And we're going to swap out Ollie. Sorry, Ollie. We are going to use Master Rat. Master Powerful Attack Rat. And for defense, we're going to go with Shelly. Um, I'm going to show you guys double Megatons. For defense, for Megatons. I'm going to show you guys double Megatons. And then I'm going to show Lindworm Turn Transfer. Um, but really, there's so many ways you can use Master Rat right now. Um, I like Shelly because, obviously, I predict there's going to be Chuck and Wuckles. I predict there's going to be, um, what's his face, Hardys. So, Shelly can still absorb. By the way, Chuck and Wuckles normally is an issue. But, once again, because this monster can remove positive effects with Rat and Snake, who cares if Chuckle does a Pyrophobic Shield? It literally does nothing. So, this is going to be awesome. Let's give my Monster Master Staff here. And we are good to go. I think so. No need to do anything else. And let's go and let's click fight. You are going to see Master Rat at his full potential. Even when I did the exclusive one look, the first look on him, that was not his full potential because he didn't have assault. Now you're going to see him at his full potential. So we're going to go right into a churn transfer. And the all I need is to make sure that unrelenting assault kicks in. So check this out. Um, anything I do would kick in. Inseparable trio. We'll start with my weakest attack right here and activate boom so assault kicks in deal some damage and we're good to go claw claw kicks in okay look even though i got stamina drained like crazy hey doesn't matter my relics again i'm good to go i can even do short and swift um if for any reason i needed to activate my can of atlantis right um now the the thing i messed up on here is that i damaged this monster too much to the point where i'm assault won't kick in again because obviously he's gonna die um so it's fine we'll do inseparable trio and the way to get around that is by dealing enough damage to where... Oh, wait. Oh, no, because it's still... Wait, what the heck? Maybe I don't know how it works. I thought if I killed the monster, it wouldn't work. After damaging with the scope, target's life is below 75. How did it get an extra turn, then? Hmm. Okay, so... We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, But here, this is this is a perfect showcase, actually. Look at that. Killed everyone. Just... Master, I getting a turn in. Killed everyone. Look at the turn order. He had two turns to go. 
because I killed the the Fampirastral. And the meta is Shelly, Fampirastral, Lindworm, right? They're top five monsters. So <laughs> the fact that we have a light based attacker obliterates them. Obliterates everyone. Look, Shelly right there. I don't even care. Sequence Bend and Inseparable Trio, Rat and Snake. Watch, let me get rid of Megaton. That's the first thing I want to do. So removes positive effects from one enemy, applies vulnerable to one enemy. Actually, I'm not sure if that's 75%. So we'll just do Snake Heads. Boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. Assault kicks in. Sherazard's Amulet kicks in. Rat and Snake, Inseparable Trio. Okay, we'll do Inseparable Trio. All right, Assault kicks in. Sherazard's Amulet kicks in. Revival Lesson. Okay, there we go. It didn't trigger like I, it shouldn't have. Inseparable Trio. Assault will kick in this time around. And then I get another turn. Like, how powerful is that? Isn't that insane? The fact that this monster can do that. He is so darn powerful. And I know I keep making videos on like, this monster's OP. Colonel Pip is OP. Why? Well, I don't say it's OP, but I'm like, this attacker. I'm telling you guys, the attacker meta. But it's really, it, it makes me wonder like, is it Unrelenting Assault? Is, is the Obscure Talent just too overpowered? Or is it something else? Ah uh, man, this battle's boring. This battle is going to take so long. Um, Here, let me just demonstrate the, the Rat and Snake though. Watch, removes positive effects. All right. And then Short and Swift. And then remove positive effects. Like, this monster can do that easily. Awesome. I think... I think even with evasion... Oh, you know what? Um, It's too late because I didn't do an AoE skill. But even with evasion, the... Yeah, the assault... Oh, or maybe not. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll exit out. With that, that Neobuki is, has like 500 speed or something. It'll take way too long to battle. That's that Stod defense. Just so... It's so annoying. Alright, let's continue. Fights. Alright, well, you will just keep turn transferring. And watch, I'm going to go with Rat and Snake, remove Megaton. There we go, Assault kicks in, I get a turn. All right, all right, and then I can go straight into Trio, I can go into Snake Heads to give everyone vulnerable. So now my next attack is going to be stronger, I get a turn in. Trio, everyone's dead. Ah, oh, Master Attacker Rat is powerful, and players got him rank 4, rank 5. Oh my gosh, I'm going to rank this monster up to rank 5 for sure. Here, let me start unlocking this. What am I doing? I'm wasting time. Let's do this. We're just going to have a bunch of battles with Master Rat here until there is a worthy opponent. So we're going to trophy climb right now. We have Master Rat and Vanos. Doesn't matter. Sequence Bend. Trio or Snake Heads. Let's just go Trio. Taboro's going to die. Hopefully Taboro reses. Nope, no res. All right, we'll go Snake Heads. And like Elemental Advantage plus Vulnerable on top of that, the amount of damage this monster can deal is insane. And it doesn't even matter. Unlike other monsters where, oh, there's a Megaton. I got to get through Megaton. This monster can clear the Megaton. You can use one turn to make sure Megaton drops below 75%, then clear the Megaton, then do an extra turn skill. It's crazy. And the fact that you don't care about getting your stamina drained, you don't care about a shield or an Abilene's trap, thanks to the Cane of Atlantis. Oh my gosh. Sheriff's Diamond, by the way, draining enemy stamina. The stuff this monster can do. Um, watch. Here is a good showcase. We'll sequence bend. All right. Hardy gets a turn in. He attacked my Shelly. Oh no. I am going to use, let's see, Snake Heads, Rat and Snake. See, in this case, doing this, it won't trigger because of Bombeta. So I'm going to go, look, I can get rid of Vulnerable from my Shelly. I'm not going to do it, though. I'm going to go with my AoE Snake Heads just to make sure Bombeta drops below 75. There we go. Oh, I, I don't think he dropped below 75. All right. What happened with Hardy? Did he not? Oh, yeah. Um. So now I can do Rat and Snake, which will get rid of Megatons, and then I will get an extra turn. Assault. There we go. Oh, I actually killed Bombeta, too. Alright, so my Shelly's dead. That's fine. I can go Trio. I can go Short and Swift. We're going to go Trio, which I think will kill Fampirastro with the Assault kicking in and with everything. Yeah. And then Orm's Blast. That's cool enough. Cane of Lance kicks in. I'll finish you off. Rat and Snake. So yeah, even the way the way you ruin your team, um, you'll be fine. This is why I think Double Megaton, which I need to get into with Crowd Crawler, I think that'll be powerful. I can... I can run all team speed on my Megaton monsters. I can run life. Like, I have a single life on Shelly, so it can absorb a hardy attack. Oh my gosh, this is too fun, too powerful. All right, sequence bend. Yeah, snake head. I think snake heads should drop below 75 most of the time. Sherzard's amulet kicks in. Um, get rid of Megaton. Assault kicks in. There we go. And then I can do trio, and assault will kick in again. So now they're all weak to light attacks. Good, good. Look at that. Look at that. Healing mask, everything. And then we can do... Let's say I want to do the AoE again. The, my powerful AoE. Short and swift. And I can do my powerful AoE. Look at that. Now you have vulnerable and your weak to light attacks. Alright, and then final attack. Boom! Right there. So again, you do have the other zero cooldown skill you could use. But I don't think it's needed. I think just attack a rat like this. You're good to go. Man, you are good to go. Give me like two more battles with Lindworm and then I'll turn transfer. Uh, I'll, I'll switch. 
Uh, I will, uh, easy. I will switch into a a crowd crawler Megaton. Just see how well that puts up. I really wish I could fight a Chuckle Muckle. I want to see Chuckle Muckle against Master Rat. I really don't think it'll be a problem. The fact that you have a cleanse on a one-turn cooldown and an extra turn scale on a one-turn cooldown, cleansing, or, or sorry, um, Bomb Beta. Oh my gosh, names are just coming into my head. Um, Chuckle Muckle, Chuckle Muckle, that's what I want to say. Chuckle Muckle putting Pyrophobic Shield will not be a problem. All right, Sequence Bend. So we are going to go into the, who has the most HP? 93,031. All right, 96 times three, perfect. So Snake Heads, there we go. Assault kicks in. So this is what I was talking about. Where Assault kicks in and kills the enemy, you're good to go. You get your extra turn. Inseparable Trio or Rat and Snake or extra turn. I guess in this case, I get two turns next. So we'll just kill you. All right. And then we will do Rat and Snake. And we are good. You come back to life. And Inseparable Trio. So this one was a lot easier than I expected. Even with all the enemy. Not a problem whatsoever. All right. So yeah, I think Master Rat is going to remain on the top for a while. Especially if players are still maining Shelly and Fine Pedostrals. Um, for sure, he's going to remain on the top. So defense. Oh, what the heck is that defense? All right, let's put... I hope he's properly ruined. I guess we can just replace that with a single life. And in terms of relics, we'll just do the Nibelines Trap. Crowd Crawler on defense, so annoying, right? Nibelines Trap and Shield. He can drain your attacker stamina. doesn't matter if you have, like, over 600 stamina. You know that stamina is going to zero. Nibelines Trap also from the team. So we're going to go double team speed. Um, single life and then one single speed on my master rat and let's see how well this team puts up especially when the enemy goes first most likely Ooh, we even have a hardy perfect so let's see we have panikin panikin laser beam sword all right so first thing i'm going to do good great thing about attacking shelly is that i have the i can i can start off with removing positive effects so let's do that all right megaton is gone assault kicks in i will get an extra turn all right, Hardy goes, attacks my teammate. That is fine. We're going to set up Vulnerable, by the way. Yeah, we're going to do... Actually, hmm. You know what's cool? If I would have... No, 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 it's fine. I was going to say, if Shelly wasn't there, I could have done the Rat and Snake and get rid of the the stamina region so he couldn't attack me. But we can't do that, so we'll do that next turn. Let's just set up Vulnerable this time around. All right, there we go. Salt kicks in. Shares our amulet. If they had stamina, they would have gone to zero. Eotron's mask. I got... Look, I'm at zero stamina right now. Zero stamina, but this is where Cane of Atlantis comes in clutch. I have stamina now. I can do Inseparable Trio. I can remove um, the Stamina Regen from the enemy Hardy. That's actually what I'm going to do. Oh, I can kill him. Oh, wow. Um, since I don't want his extra turn to trigger, we are just going to do... Ah, no, it's fine. Inseparable Trio. Boom. That's why I'm running my... Oh, look. The Relic's kicking in. I forget. Relic's can do so much. And then Inseparable Trio again. Um, I can cleanse. Oh, yeah. You have all these negative effects. Let me cleanse. Let me help you, Shelly. Can of Lance is kicking in again. Good to go. Look at that. That is great. Removes shield, deals heavy light, plus vulnerable. We'll go with inseparable. Ah, inseparable trio. Bye bye, Shelly. And now we just need um, this last monster here. Easy. There we go. Oh, I thought he already rezzed. Three inch punches. Nope, you are dead. And once again, being able to cleanse from my team, especially from my Megaton monsters, who are always susceptible to getting hit with dots and denying everything. He is. Oh my gosh, he's so powerful right now. Like, yeah, I like Wing Su as an attacker, but I think I love the versatility of this guy. Being able to cleanse, being able to remove positive effects. It's just so nice. But again, it's like, is it him or is it Unrelenting Assault? Which is it, right? Because this is only doable because of all the attacks from Unrelenting Assault. Here we will go Trio, make him weak to light attacks. And then I'll follow up with a light-based AoE. Right here, the, the amulet is really killing everyone. <laughs> That's so funny. The, okay, Snake Heads, watch. The Assault with the amulet is killing them. Gosh, so powerful. I gotta slow it down. I keep seeing strong. Is the amulet doing more damage? As well as my assaults? Because of the vulnerable? I think so, right? So this monster gets an added boost. Thanks to the vulnerable. From that other damage. Alright, Shelly going first. That's weird. Alright, deep rebirth. That is fine by me. I can kill you regardless. Um, So we will do rat and snake. On turn one. Watch. Check this out. This is what I meant about... Being able to remove positive effects every turn, right? It's on a cooldown, but short and swift on myself. And then I can do it again. Like nothing. Like nothing ever, ever happened. It's great. We're going to go Inseparable Trio, just because it's zero cooldown. Solid kicks in, shards our amulet. You res, falling like flies. Ouch, that was scary. Um, We are going to do the heal barrier. Yeah, we're going to go bar deeper birth. We are going to do, let's see, body slam. Actually, I don't need to do anything. Just to showcase the power of this monster, I, my, Master Rat, I don't want to deal any damage with my other monsters. So let's just wait for Master Rat to get a turn in. Deep Rebirth, positive effect protection, that is fine. All right, here, we're going to go into it. 
we are going to do do my monsters need any healing just a daze we're fine we're gonna do the vulnerable skill let me slow this down we're gonna do the aoe vulnerable snake heads all right there we go assault kicks in and then let's see 60,000. This is strong, but I think it's just 60,000, right? Base. It is... Oh, 40,000. Oh, yeah. So, because they have vulnerable, it's an extra 50%. So, can you imagine if it is... If Unrelenting Assault is fully maxed, it's going to be an extra 50% stronger. My gosh. And then, at this point, they're dead. All right. Inseparable Trio, what's normally a weak attack, is now dealing 80k damage. Thanks to the vulnerable. Wow. And spammable. Doesn't matter if I somehow got hit with CDA, I would still be able to do it. Assault would still kick in. Yeah, this monster is so powerful. I think this is going to be my defense. I wonder how well it's going to do on defense. I'm pretty sure the AI can't mess up, right? Like, what is there to mess up on? There's nothing to mess up on. Favorite trick. All right, we're going to go straight into it. Let's go snakeheads and make the enemy vulnerable. Boom. Assault kicks in, dealing 60k damage. My shares of amulet also deals more damage. Here is Trio dealing more damage. All right, and every... Oh my gosh, I wanted to attack, but I didn't get a chance to. Just too powerful. He's too powerful. Gosh. Which attacker is the best attacker? Is it Wings? Who is it? Master Rat? Who is it? But again, it's like the off your talent is what's doing all the work. All right, let's see. Let's see this one. Vampire Astro Shelly. Look at that. Two of the main monsters being dark. Ooh, you're going to regret that. You are so going to regret that. So we will go into the Inseparable Trio. Uh, snake heads. We'll just go trio. Again, I want to make sure assault triggers. All right, there we go. Assault triggers. I get an extra turn. We can get rid of megatons. I'll get an extra turn. And then we can vulnerable everyone. Snake heads. Boom. Get an extra turn. The fact that when this monster goes, it's GG is insane to me. Look at that. Boom. Find Pirastro dead. Now it's only Roddy that's alive. And thanks to the vulnerable, even my monsters get the ad elemental advantage. Or, yeah, equivalent to elemental advantage. 50% stronger and we're good to go. It is ridiculous. It is It is something else. Yeah, I, can, can this team be stopped? Like, I don't think this team can be stopped. Like, what would stop it? Again, I'm waiting for a Chuckle Muckle. I don't think Chuckle Muckle would do anything. This this team would pulverize Chuckle. Chuckle Hardy, maybe? No, I would still pulverize it. Yeah, I would still pull. It would have to be a Vanos that goes first and just kills my attacker. That's how I get stomped, right? That's how I get stomped. All right, Snake Heads, Rat and Snake. We'll just get rid of Megaton turn one. Watch, drain my stamina, I dare you. There it is. Stamina drain. Nope. Cane of Atlantis kicks in. Snake heads. Trio. Um, anyone need? Nope. All right. We are. Oh, look. That's what I was talking about. Right there. When he sets up that space time evasion, just short and swift. I have stamina regen anyways. Right in snake. There you go. It's gone. And now I'm free to go and like attack everyone else. Although in this case, assault didn't kick in. So that's what happened there. Um, let's go deeper breath. I, could... I should have reset up Megaton. Recharge. Um, we are going to do nothing. Watch we'll is recharge. I'm going to probably turn me into a baby. There we go. Can't have Atlantis kicks in. I will do several trio or snake heads. We'll give everyone vulnerable. I think I used up Can of Atlantis twice already. Yeah, so in this case, all right, I kind of fumbled this one a little bit. All right, we're going to go with, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go with Megatons. Got to protect my monsters. All right, and then inseparable trio. Uh, let's see, how do I want to play this? The problem with this is actually that it removes positive effects. It deals damage, then removes positive effects. So it actually doesn't work out the way I would have liked. Um, removes negative effects. Let's get rid of the curse on my monster. And then let's remove the shield over here. Oh, yeah, positive effect protection. All right, I'm fumbling this battle a lot. I'm um, so funny, too, because I'm like, can this team be, be stopped? And now it's potentially getting stopped. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's recharge. Now that I now that I don't have stamina, I'm... Um, 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 I'm kind of struggling, right? I should have reset Megaton there. Uh, let's just recharge. All right, can we remove that? We're just going to go Rat and Snake. Oh, I should have saved my Shelly. Ah, poor Shelly. Let's set up um, Megaton. Megaton. All right, I think after this we'll be good. Let's just go Alt it. That's fine. All right, Trio. Let's Short and Swift. The fact one chunk cooldown again. Like, such a huge, huge help for your team. All right, everyone has Vulnerable. Recharge. Got Stamina Drain. Consume Virtue. One turn before death. Watch, watch me save my teammate right now. Um, before that, let's do uh, mega freeze. Oh yeah, why haven't we been freezing or doing? Oh, immune to freeze. Uh, um, let, watch, boom, Shelly saved. Just saved my Shelly. Don't mind me, I'm just a hero. All right, inseparable trio. Let's go. What do I have? I think I still have assault. No, it's all got used. All right, let's start killing. So bye bye Ignis. 
time let's set up mt age overseer all right let's save myself let's recharge i'll be fine let's recharge sequence ban deep rebirth i will save my cryo look at that being able to help your team like that um we'll waste a turn to get rid of the positive effect protection next turn i'll be able to cleanse it air traveler because once again you have access um for fun we could do this it's just 50 percent though um, you, you, once again, you have access. I guess we'll do this for fun, too. You have access to give yourself an extra turn. Ooh, with Mirror, it worked out. I get two turns now. Recharge one. Rat and Snake. Get rid of the empty. So nice. As long as you have the stamina for it, it's so nice. All right, recharge. I think this is a perfect one to end on, too, considering how long it took. Boom. And short and swift. Everyone, anyone knows? Snakehead's vulnerable. Sure, let's hit a vulnerable there. Sequence bend. Age overseer. Right back at you. All right, I got a curse. Um, I actually didn't even notice I was I didn't have Megaton in any of my allies. Um, here, let's Megaton. Where which one is it? Megaton. I, I think I'm in trouble now because of the curse. Oh no! I can't save myself. I think I lost Master Rat on this one. How funny! All right, let's do that. Uh, let's do removes 25% from all enemies. We'll just go single. All right, Error Traveler. Yeah. Oh, I died with a curse. How ironic. Literally, as I was saying, can this monster be stopped? He gets stopped. All right, let's do this. And I just got to finish off. I just got to finish off. Let's see. Boom. Age Overseer. Oh, no. Oh, no. So close. All right, well, we're just going to end it there. I don't want to continue this battle. I should have stopped a long time ago. I should have paid more attention. But, yes, guys. Master Rat. Strong. Such a strong, powerful monster. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. Super curious to hear your guys' thoughts now that you've seen Master Rat in action as an attacker. Again, Unrelenting Assault, it just changes the dynamic because you can pretty much make every Corrupted Monster into attacker. But now some Corrupted Monsters, even when they're not meant to be attackers, they are truly going to stand out thanks to their skill set and how well it works with getting extra chance with Assaults. Thank you guys once again very much and remember to subscribe.